so good morning friends in our solar energy unit our next segment in the course of renewable energy system our next segment is the physics of shading of solar pv before proceed further hope you are well and safe at your home so let's begin the first section of this video lecture on the series is the physics of shading and the comparison of the characteristic now talking about the shading in general it might be a full shading or a partial shading so someone can shade it the full cell in the module and in case of string someone can shade a partial shade of the module itself now as far as partial shading is concerned usually it is due to the cloud coverings particularly and its mitigation technique using bypass and blocking diode so this is what the physics of shading in the first figure we have considered the n cells in the module and we have modeled a top cell over here we have done a concept of the equivalent circuit of module or n cell module or a cell in the case of cell over here the cell or module if it is photovoltaic it has been modeled as a current source so in this case we have segregated a single cell that is to be connected in anti parallel with diode that is a model of single known as single diode model it is connected in parallel with rp that is the shunt resistance or parallel resistance of the material and rs that is series resistance similarly in the other figure if that cell has been shaded so at that time we need to check how much decrement in the power that has been observed so this is what the effect of shading concept mathematically if you are considering the first case where all the cells are to be connected in series and they are not shaded so we'll get the effective voltage across the terminals of the pv module if topmost cell has been shaded then the contribution of the voltage because all the cells are connected in series of that cell will be reduced but still still all other cells suppose we are considering the module of 36 cell and you are considering the first cell over there the rest of the 35 cells are still under the sunlight so we need to check if we will eliminate a one cell then how much reduction in the voltage as per the diagram the reduction is in the voltage is in terms of this voltage drop of this resistance and this resistance this we need to subtract from the total voltage drop so that is the new output voltage of the module if one cell has been shaded the new output voltage is suppose vsh that is equals to the voltage available from the rest of the cells that has been not shaded minus the drop has to be fed by the rest of the cell of the shaded voltage so with all n cells in the sun and carrying the output is i then the output voltage is v so if we are considering the single shaded then the bottom n minus 1 cell will be the new voltage of v n minus 1 equals to n minus 1 upon n into v if you can combine this equation by incorporating the value of vsh in the equation of vsh we can add this value of v n minus 1 what we will get the vsh equals to n minus 1 upon n into v minus current into 
series resistance plus parallel resistance of that particular shaded cell. The drop in the voltage that is our main cause. So the drop in the voltage let's consider it delta V at any given instant of I that can be caused by shaded cell is given by delta V. So delta V is the drop in voltage. Let's suppose our original voltage is V and the new voltage is Vsh. So if you can take the subtraction of V minus Vsh over here, we will get the V minus. We can have this equation with us. So we can put it over here. Now what we will get the delta V equals to this equation has been satisfied. That is V upon N plus I into Rp plus Rs. Now, as we know that our Rs is as small as possible. So we can ignore. So our delta V is approximated as V by N plus I into Rp. Now at any instant, if you can take the IV curve of the module with one shaded cell that is delta V. So this much voltage has been dropped in this case. And that much reduction in the IV characteristic say it is very much flat and the uppermost portion we are not going to use it. Now suppose if it is two cell then again that is a degradation of the quality of the IV curve that has been observed. If you can consider one of the setting example that has been given in the self practice and you can incorporate these values in the given equations and you are requested to try to generate the answers from this. So you will get the voltage drop, you will get the new operating point of the voltage, you can compare with the actual voltage, you will get the net power, see how much reduction in the power, once you will solve the numerical, you will get the idea. Then voltage drop across shaded cell, again you will get this much reduction in the voltage, and the power dissipation which likely causes the permanent damage of the cell, it is also known as the hot spot generation for longer time. I will try to cover the same thing in upcoming video sessions. This is what the impact of the shading on a series of the string that is a particular module. We consider the pendant model Kyocera KC70. The pendant layout is two series connected strings, 18 cells each with one bypass diode per string. So if you can consider two shaded cells that is belonging to A that is same string and in the different strings. So this is what the modification in the characteristics of particular module. So in that case if you can go with the same thing over here see if I have a no shading and if I consider the case A this is what the reduction in the IV curve. In the case B, this is what the reduction in the IV curve. So, the shading is not only depending upon on which cell it has been shaded, whether it is topmost or it's the first one or it's intermediate one, but it is also depending upon type of the strings that is to be connected in series and also the position of the cell. Similarly, this is what the decrement in the quality of the PV curve. So if you can consider this MPP, that is maximum power point, see how much it has been reduced in the case A and see how much it is reduced in the case B. Similarly, there will be a partially shading of the PV module. In the base case, it has been drawn with the black color. In the case 1, the partial shading of a particular cell. In this case, the number of cells are 48 and number of bypass diodes are 3 depending upon the configuration of the PV module. If we go with the case 1, this is for the reduction in the IV curve. Similarly, in this case, the blue color, this is what reduction in the IV curve. 
in the case 3 this is what the reduction in the IV curve now talking about the same thing from where we have started if we can have a one cell that has been shaded 50% only means the radiation in the particular cell will be half then this is what the modification in the IV curve from the particular full cell this entire characteristic has been compared with the charging of 12.5 volt or a 12 volt battery in this case it's a 12 volt battery it requires a 13 volt to be charged so in that case if my battery charging is there still the current has been reduced over here from 3.3 to 2.75 if particular one cell particular one cell that has been shaded and that to 50 percent suppose we are going to shed that particular cell fully then this much decrement in the characteristic and our new operating point of the current is around 1.25 ampere see that is a reduction of 1.75 ampere current in the case similarly if you can shed the two particular cells 100 percent the charging current is still 0.7 or in between 0 0.5 to 0.75 so this is what the problem that we are facing due to the shading of the pv module so what is the outcome of this example so with just one cell that has been shaded out of 36 in the module the power delivered to the battery during charging of the battery is decreased by about two third times of its total output capacity now what is the solution of this the solution is the incorporation of bypass diode and the blocking diode that is to be connected in series and parallel for blocking it is series for bypass it is parallel with the PV module so this is what the concept of bypass diode so in figure a the solar cell is there and if it has been shaded the equivalent circuit of the shaded is only a voltage drop and if no cells are available except the single cell then due to reverse charge carriers some current will flow and the voltage will drop so it has been available with the minus sign so if you can see that whenever the voltage has been dropped there is a chance of the shading or in other words we can say that the shading problem creates the voltage drop so this voltage drop problem in the shading shell it could be corrected by adding the bypass diode across each cell so if you can consider the bypass diode across each cell then in the initial case this bypass diode is in cutoff region that is in reverse bias mode now when the cell has been shedded at that time the bypass diode conducts as it conducts the cell has been bypassed so it is known as the bypass diode obviously we need to bear the voltage drop of the diode but in the large system it is totally bearable thing now we will check if we are considering this example then how our characteristic will be improved so in the case of the shaded cell with bypass diode we found that the characteristic has been improved over here this is an example of the multiple batteries that is to be connected in series suppose I will take a battery of 12 volt such five batteries are connected in series as both of as batteries are not ideal so this is an example of the battery bank of five modules in series of each 13 volt delivering 65 volt delivering power at 65 volt and with one module having two shaded cells charging current drops by almost one third 
when there are no bypass diode. But with the module with bypass diode is there, a very little drop has been observed and still at the same voltage it will try to charge with the same current. It is around 3.45 or 3.4 from the characteristics. So this is one of the remedy for shedding in case of PV modules. So how we can improve this IV curve? Suppose your battery voltage will vary and with the particular data you will able to know that if the shaded cell is there or a shaded module is there in this case because we need to charge the battery at 65 volt or 60 volt so at that time some of the multiple modules are connected in series so the first characteristic is the shaded with no bypass diode second is shaded with bypass diode and though we are not improving the characteristic like full sun but somehow we can manage the voltage and current both so we we'll get the good characteristic compared to a single cell that has been shaded so this is for the improvement in the curve so if you can check this thing in pictorial form or picturely at that time this is what the condition in the first case no cell has been shaded or no module has been shaded so at that time we are having the current of 3.3 ampere and the voltage is 65 volt we are considering the same example of the 13 volt battery similarly if we are not incorporating any diodes with the same so at that time over here due to shading problem the voltage has been rise but our net voltage is 65 volt only but the current has been reduced over here this is what the problem that we are facing usually when the voltage will be increased current has to increase but over here due to shading problem the topmost portion of the partially shaded module is not going to contribute in the current and if we are incorporating the bypass diode across each module at that time the number of bypass diodes are off but the bypass diode which is connected across the partial shedding it would be on so when it would be on at that time this module has been bypassed from the string itself so this is what the concept of the bypass diode if you can consider a modules in the practical case which comprising of 18 voltage so at that time this is what the characteristic and dropping of characteristic 4 characteristic at pulsion characteristic at shaded cells but with diode and without diode see there is a reduction in the output so in that case the output has been reduced my next concept is the blocking diode usually bypass diode helps the current to go around a shaded cell or malfunctioning of the module within the string this is not only improve the string performance but also prevent the hot spot developing in the individual shaded cells when the strings are wired in parallel because we are not only interested in the higher voltages but also higher current let me take you in the practical concept of the parallel connected DC circuit. Suppose I have a battery which comprising of 12 volt and 100 milliampere current, but my load demand is 300 milliampere. Then such other two batteries are connected in parallel with the same battery, so we can satisfy the load demand. In similar case multiple modules are connected in parallel to satisfy the load demand so the blocking diode is a concept which is used in the parallel operation of PV modules or a strings so when strings of modules are wired in parallel 
a similar problem will arise. Similar problem means problem of shading. When one of the string is not performing well. So instead of supplying current to the array, a malfunctioning or shaded string can withdraw the current from rest of the array. This is what the problem we are facing. As the PV material comprising of resistance inside the material, so the characteristic of resistance is to draw the current from the rest of the modules. So the total current at a load point will be equals to the current from the unshaded string minus current from the shaded string instead of that I1 will bring some addition of the current so this is the problem we are facing so if you can accommodate the bypass diode in the same case our problem cannot be solved so go with the blocking diode so the current will block over here it means that your I1 will be zero because for I2 and I3 this diode will be reverse bias obviously we are not adding this current I1 over here means there is a loss of generation but we are not feeding also this I1. So the newly improved equation is total current equals to I2 plus I3 that is from unshaded modules instead of I2 plus I3 minus I1. So this is what the concept of blocking diode. So in this session I tried to explain about shading of the PV module and how it has been mitigated with bypass and blocking diode. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. The same thing. In next segment, we will discuss about the load characteristic of load versus photovoltaic. It means that how we can connect the load with the PV module and how that load will be run. So, bye from now. Thank you very much.